All right, so we're here at Jarvis Lane, which you can see here is this house at 411 Jarvis Lane was once owned by authoress Gwendolyn Davenport, who, when she lived in this house, penned the neighborhood, penned the neighborhood of Mockingbird Hill as Hummingbird Hill. And she lived, this was where she lived when she wrote the 1947 book, Belvedere. In the, ninth, the, the three films, which was about Lynn and Loisius Belvedere, had the title character portrayed by the way, late Webb Franklin. And on the ABC television and on the ABC television series, Lynn Aloysius Belvedere on the TV show Mr. Belvedere was portrayed by the late act by the late Christopher Hewitt. So this was where Gwendoline Davenport and her husband John once lived. So on the other side of the lane, 412 Jarvis Lane, the other side of the which is on right here, is an acre on Jarvis Lane, which was it was once part of a land grant comprised of 6,000 acres from Thomas Jefferson that was once granted to James Southwell and Richard Charlton. Well, as you walk along the lane, as you like to walk along the lane, you can see that it's a salt box like a salt box like house that has made from fieldstone. The second with a floor, an overhang on the second floor that is on that is like consisted of like white painted lap siding vinyl. The dovecote above the garage pavilion has has a cupola and weather vane on top. So this was where my very old next door this was where Louise Wall's parents, George and Washington rep and Alice M. Rapp once lived. So, for houses around Jarvis Lane, this is where John Hager and John, Mr. and Mrs. John Hager lived, and then it was their daughter and son-in-law, Jody and jo Joan, Gr Joan H. Grimes and her husband, their son-in-law, Joseph S. Grimes Jr. However, things have changed over the years.